In other news, San Diego's dreamers are breathing a huge sigh of relief tonight after a judge invalidated a decision that paused new applicants. Dreamers are children who were brought into the U.S. illegally and were later granted legal status. News News's Brandon Lewis explains why this is another positive step for them. Stephen Alicia, this is now the second court case lost in recent months by the Trump administration regarding DACA. And while dreamers say it certainly gives them hope for the future, it still is a long way for the possibility of citizenship. We never knew what to, what was going to happen, so it was a lot of a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty. Most DACA recipients will tell you ever since the deferred action for childhood arrivals was signed by President Obama, it's put them in an uncertain environment. The so-called dreamers were given legal status to work, study, and live in the U.S. after their parents brought them to the country illegally, but it hinged on an executive order that President Trump has tried to repeatedly chip away at. I think sometimes they get a little bit burnt out. <laughs> there's so much back and forth, um, and there's so much excitement and then disappointment that they wait for advocates to come out and say, okay, this is what this really means. The in June, 40,000 dreamers in San Diego cheered when the Supreme Court ruled the Trump administration wrongly ended DACA because it failed to give adequate justification. The celebration was short-lived because a month later, Acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf suspended it anyway for a review. I feel like uh, with Trump, he has done a lot of things that have no precedent. So um, it's, it's still like we were still being cautious with with this administration. Dreamers and their attorneys again filed suit, this time claiming Wolf didn't have the authority to stop DACA. On Saturday, a federal judge agreed he wasn't properly appointed to the role. It is a long line of administrative errors that happened to allow him to be in that position. So it's a really exciting decision for DACA recipients. It's going to allow people to file initial petitions again. President-elect Joe Biden pledged to restore DACA once in office, but a pathway to citizenship remains elusive. We are a big part of the economic engine of this country, and we're just asking for a path to citizenship. We've been here for a very, very long time. We contribute to the economy, and we are low Biden citizens. From here, the judge has ordered both parties into a conference that they can further discuss the implications of the ruling. Stephen Alicia. Brandon, thank you.